Welcome back to my YouTube channel. As you can probably tell, I am saying hello from a kind of different environment. And that is because today I have a fashion show and I am staying in the I'm Hotel, which is set on my nice bathrobe. What we're going to do today is basically a kind of get ready with me. I'm going to take you guys along with me to my fashion show and show the whole process of getting there as well as the actual show. So let's get ready. <laughs> So key to a successful life is to always start your day with a win and something that you fully succeed in. So I'm going to make my bed. See, and just like that, you started the day with a win. Yay. I don't know if it's true. I just heard somewhere that successful people do that. So maybe it'll help you out. First thing we're gonna do today is actually go to the swimming pool that they have at this hotel. I would go to the gym, but today's show isn't an underwear show, and so there's no real point of going to the gym today. The swimming pool will also help with my face, make it a little less puffy and kind of, you know, prepare it for the show. Follow me, and then it will be a transition. What brand are you walking for tonight? I'm actually not walking for a brand, I'm walking for a designer tonight, which is pretty cool. His name is Ellis Co. What is the best part of the runway show? I would say it's probably the companionship, being with other models, meeting interesting people, and you usually have a lot of time to talk to them. So do you get to keep the clothes or...? That depends. Most of the time it's a no. Sometimes you get to keep like a pair of socks or like some rings or something like that. Most of the time I'm not really interested in keeping those clothes anyways because it's not something I would usually wear. Have you ever fell off the runway podium? <laughs> I have not personally, but that's mainly because us guys, we actually get to wear like normal shoes. And girls on the other hand kind of have high heels most of the time, sometimes really weird outfits. So it's more difficult for them. What are your thoughts when you're walking? What's in your head? Kind of don't laugh, don't laugh, don't laugh. That's probably the main thing I think about. And kind of like what route I have to take, depending on the runway, of course. What can you advise to the model who will do their first runway show? I think try to keep a cool head. Don't look at people in the audience. Just straight ahead and walk. All right, guys, let's do a practice walk along this way because it looks kind of cool. I'll now take a shower to kind of get rid of all the chlorine and you know prepare my hair because for some reason they still want to do my hairstyle even though my outfit as you will see later has kind of a helmet. I'll take a shower anyways, keep it up. <laughs> get dressed for the show because they're always super fashionable and sometimes not so fashionable people. First, I'm gonna dry my hair. Three, two, one. They're still wet. <laughs> All right, they're still wet. Now they're dry, kind of, a little bit. So let's get dressed. Right, so with me I have two different outfits. I think I'm just gonna put them on and then let you guys be the judge. I have one white one and one a little bit more kind of interesting. But this one looks a bit more formal, so let's see how they look. Yeah, this is basically outfit number one. It's beige pants, sneakers, and a blue kind of top. Maybe add a necklace. That's outfit number one. And, and this is the second outfit. What do you guys think? A little bit more formal, maybe a little bit too formal, but rather overdressed than underdressed. Am I right? Yeah, so I think I'm going to be going with this one. So let's go to the shop. We are now at the venue and first things first, I'm going to get my COVID test done because it's still COVID times and so we have to do that every single time, basically, for every job. And so that's what I'm going to do first. Oh, 
onto the holding area now because I was negative, so I don't get to go home, but I get to go to the holding area for the models where we're probably gonna get some breakfast and uh, get the hair and makeup started, which is kind of ridiculous because the show is in like, what, 10 hours, but models did. So this is the behind the scenes, the backstage. We're currently doing the practice run. We're kind of learning all the different sort of paths that we have to take because there are three different lines and columns where we have to like, navigate our way around and uh, it's incredibly hot here. 28 degrees backstage, no fan, but at least it looks super cool. Like the whole thing is really, really well done. One fan, around 10 models. <laughs> Now time for a nap because we're here way too early. The show is starting in like six hours, seven hours, or something like that. So the concept of the actual show is to be dead people, which is why, as you can see, they have done my nails with this silver kind of paint. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah. Up next is the makeup and the hair to make me look as dead as possible. <laughs> How long have you not slept? One week. I said <laughs> 10. <laughs> So, ready for a fight? Good thing I did my nails, <laughs> my hair, and my makeup. <laughs> I appreciate your nails and your hair. I think you look amazing. Don't they look nice? Yeah. Show done, now let's remove the makeup because as much as I would love to wear this makeup for the rest of my life, unfortunately that's not gonna happen. I also wanna try to remove these nails, but that's likely not gonna happen because I've been told it's really hard to remove these nails, so. I was walking like past this guy halfway through the runway. We like locked eyes and we both started going like, that was close, that was broken. And then I looked behind him and there's a woman with a sock on her head and like the eyes cut out and I was like, oh, bro, I'll see you, I'll see you before you see